Hi everyone. As developers, I feel like a lot of us are quite good at the coding side of things, but maybe lack a bit in the business side of things. So one of those things is the different software licenses available and how to avoid legal battles. Software licenses is not something you want to get wrong because it can cost you lots of headaches and a lot of money. So I'm just going to focus on that today. But also wanted to comment that if you're enjoying my videos, please subscribe or like. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm such a small channel. And I'll get right into it now. So the first type of software licensing is public domain, and that's software when copyright doesn't exist or is lapsed. You can use it for commercial use. Um, you don't need to attribute the creator, and it can be modified and redistributed. It's important to note that code without a license is not automatically licensed as public domain. If there is no license and it's publicly available on a site like GitHub, reach out to the developer and kindly ask them to add a license. It's probably just an oversight on their behalf. Like I said, devs are not so good at the business side, more into the coding side. I mean, it's not true for everyone, but for a lot of us it is. One of the more common licenses is the MIT license. It's a reasonably permissive license and it's available for commercial use. Um, it can be used, the software can be used, modified and redistributed in any way, but you must include a copy of the license and its copyrights. I'll show you an example of that later. The BSD license is a very similar license to the MIT. Um, it's also available for commercial, commercial use, can be used, modified and redistributed in any way. It must include a copy of the license and its copyrights. Once again, the Apache license is very similar to the MIT and BSD, but it's preferred by a lot of people. Um, it has the same terms, except it includes extra clauses about patents. So if you're interested in using that, you can do a little bit more research, but it's quite widely used. One of the licenses which really promotes open sourcing code is GPL, which is a copyleft license. So how it encourages open sourcing is it requires that software that uses or modifies its um, soft, software, um, they must release the software under the same terms as the GPL license. So basically, if, if you're using it, be prepared to open source your code. It can be used commercially, but practically it's not used as regularly as works licensed under Apache, MIT, or BSD licenses because of the open sourcing requirements. The Lesser General Public License, the LGPL license, is very similar to the GPL license, but it's less restrictive, so it's a little bit more commonly used commercially. So you can use the LGPL license software without having to license your entire source code under LGPL, um, which is why it's more used, more practically used in commercial software. But you you need to if you make any modifications to the software that's licensed under GP, G, LGPL, you must also make that available under the LGPL license. And the final type of software license is proprietary, which is quite restrictive. Um, you can read the terms of each individual license, but generally you'll be able to use the software, but not modify or redistribute the software. And often the original source code will not be available. So if I created an app, I might license that under a proprietary license. I might grant you permission to use it, but I might not, um, well, I wouldn't let you see my source code unless I really wanted to make it available under another license. So here I have a demo of how Google Chrome has chosen to meet the license terms. It has a link to the open source 
um, libraries it's used in the about and you can click on the software and see the copyrights and which license it's used. So this is how they've met the terms and it's a good way to do it. Um, you're giving credit to people who have helped you develop your software so that's really great. That's about all I have for today so I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon.